I'm Apia Bode with Samuel Alfair Abu. We are representing Jabin Senior High School and we are here to demonstrate how we can convert plastic waste to hydrocarbon fuel through thermal cracking. Thermal cracking is the process of breaking down complex substances into smaller substances using high temperature and high pressure. Ghana, in spite of attaining a low middle income status, is still battling with the proper management of municipal solid waste. The average Ghanaian seems not to realize the impact of municipal solid waste on the environment and for that matter have a bad disposition towards their management. Municipal solid waste, commonly known as rubbish or refuse, is a waste type consisting of everyday items discarded by the public. In Ghana, the most common ways of managing our MSW is through landfilling and incineration. These practices, however, have negative effects on both aquatic and terrestrial life. Landfilling could result in the contamination of underground water by leachate, whilst incineration could cause the release of carcinogenic substances such as dioxins into the environment. One may ask, what is our objective? The main objective of this project is to convert plastic waste to hydrocarbon fuel through thermal cracking. Among the municipal solid waste, organic waste are biodegradable, whilst plastic waste, which have higher percentage in composition after organic waste, are not biodegradable. According to Zoom Lion Ghana Limited in 2010, we have component and characteristic mass percentage of waste. We have five components, namely plastic waste, paper waste, glass waste, organic waste, and other waste. Plastic waste has a percentage of 16.98. Paper waste has a percentage of 5.19. Organic waste has a percentage of 69.30. Glass waste has a percentage of 5.32 and other waste has a percentage of 3.22. Raw materials preparation. The processes involved in obtaining the plastics are as follows. The plastics are collected around the campuses and beyond. They are then washed to remove any form of impurities from it. It is then dried to remove excess moisture and shredded into pieces to quicken the reaction time. The materials are now ready to be fed into the boiler. This is a simple machine designed by ourselves. We have some parts. We have the burner, which is the source of heat. We have the boiler where the raw materials, that is the plastic waste, are fed into it. Then heated. We have the condensation units where the gas or the vapor vaporizes to form a liquid. After the raw materials, that is the plastic waste, has been fed into the reactor or boiler, we are now tightening it to prevent oxygen from entering into the bo boiler. So now we are tightening it. Now the boiler, this one, is connected to the condensation unit. So we face it. We are come to light the matches to heat the boiler. So the heating process has begun. It is heated for about 30 minutes, which is the reaction time in the absence of oxygen or limited oxygen, whilst all valves are closed. When plastics are heated in such manner, they boil rather than melting to form liquid slurry with high pressure gas. After the reaction time, the valves are open for the gas to pass through the tube into the condensation unit, which in turn passes through the cold copper pipes. Finally, it is then collected as hydrocarbon fuel with its flammable properties similar to that of classic fuel. Thank you.